Good evening and thank you for joining our second virtual Cornwall Air Ambulance Carol Concert. It was with great sadness that we took the difficult decision to cancel our live performance due to rising Covid numbers. Thankfully, with the support of our amazing charity ambassador, Dr Karen Dickens, we were able to work with Shane and his Cornwall Channel team to record the concert and share it with you this evening. Thank you to our wonderful performers and to you, our supporters. Enjoy the concert, have a great sing and a very Merry Christmas to you all. Welcome to the second virtual Cornwall Air Ambulance Christmas Carol Concert made possible by charity ambassador Dr Karen Dickens and her company Committee Boats UK and Caribbean. Coming up tonight, the wonderful St Dennis Band under the baton of their musical director Darren Hawking with a guest appearance from Philip Davy. The delightful tones of Hit and Miss. The ever popular Nankersi Male Choir under the baton of their musical director Elaine Tangy. And a special guest appearance from our very own Karen Hearn. St Ewan CP School Choir. The Traviglas Academy Steelers and Junior Steelers. Plus, we hear from the Cornwall Air Ambulance crew, their CEO, Tim Bunting, Lionel Knight, the Truro City Town Crier, airlifted patient, Sue Bradbury, and a blessing from the Bishop of Truro, Right Reverend Philip Mount Stephen. All of this compared by Southwest Broadcasting favorite, Justin Lee. We would like to thank all these supporting Cornish businesses for supporting tonight's programme. Enjoy the concert. Justin Lee, our compere for this evening, and also I'll give you St. Dennis Band, Merry Christmas to you all. <laughs> Thank you. 
Good evening and a very warm welcome to this virtual Christmas carol concert in aid of the Cornwall Air Ambulance. I'm Justin Lee and I am delighted to be your host this evening. Now, of course, we are very disappointed that you can't be here with us tonight. I can tell you, though, that the Truro Methodist Church is looking absolutely beautiful and very festive. But while COVID rates are on the rise at the moment, we have to be extremely careful and safety is, of course, the main priority. But the bonus is that you get to enjoy all the wonderful programme of music that's been put together tonight from the warmth and comfort of your own home. And I know a lot of you were watching last year's virtual Christmas concert and we are hoping to build on the success of that tonight. This evening is a very special evening because we know that we're all gathered here tonight, you at home and everyone who's come here tonight, to help support the Cornwall Air Ambulance, which of course will help to save lives across Cornwall this Christmas. And you will be hearing from someone whose life was saved by the Cornwall Air Ambulance a little bit later on. And we'll also be bringing you a message from the crew of the Cornwall Air Ambulance. I'd also like to say a big thank you to the Cornwall Channel who are filming this this evening to enable you to be part of this lovely concert. Now though, it's back to the music and it's really, really wonderful to be joined tonight by the wonderful St Dennis Band. Uh, you'll have heard them at the start of the evening with Christmas Joy and we're welcoming the full St Dennis Band this year. We had the ensemble last year for the virtual Christmas carol concert. So we've got the full band this year. I'm delighted to welcome them back, the St Dennis Band, with Hark the Herald Angels Sing.
I have to say, St Dennis Band are filling Truro Methodist Church with sound tonight. It is tremendous and I'm sure you were all singing along at home. They are one of the finest brass bands, not just here in Cornwall, but right across the west of England. They have won many, many titles after appearances at British Open and National Brass Band Championships in Great Britain. And we are thrilled that they are here with us tonight. Um, their heritage dates back to 1838, but they're all looking pretty good on it, aren't they? So I guess being part of a band helps you to keep young. Thank you very much to them for being with us tonight. We'll hear much more from St Dennis later. The band's long-standing director of music and principal conductor is Mr Darren Hawkin. Next this evening, we're going to hear from Hit and Miss. Now, these four school friends used to regularly join in with the singers at the Blue Anchor Inn in Helston, and they decided to form their own group on one spring evening back in 2017. Since then, they've gone from strength to strength, taking on lots of engagements right across West Cornwall, and they thoroughly enjoy singing together and are very proud of their reputation for rich, four-part harmonies. We are delighted they're with us this evening. Please welcome Hit and Miss. Hark what music fills creation Circling through the boundless sky Circling through the boundless sky Shepherds, Shepherds filled with
Hosanna to the newborn King. Hark, hark, the heavenly angels sing, Hosanna to the newborn King. Oh, see the shepherds on the plains, they shout and sing. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much to Hit and Miss and thank you to all our musicians here this evening.
Now, no one ever expects to need the air ambulance, but the crew of the Cornwall Air Ambulance are called to an average of three missions a day. And when that red phone rings at the charity's base in Newquay, no one knows what the next emergency will be. They're ready to respond, of course, at a moment's notice to help those who are seriously sick and injured right across our county. And that's exactly what happened to Sue Bradbury. And we're very grateful that she is here this evening to share her story. It was the morning of Saturday, 5th of December. There was a lot to do that day, so I got up early and set off to walk with my dog Daisy just before 8.30 a.m. The route I chose was one I'd done hundreds of times before and nothing seemed out of the ordinary. I walked down the lane to my property in Perrinwell Station, along Silver Hill, turned right up Greenwith Hill, and then nothing. I blacked out as a car hit me from behind on the wrong side of the road and propelled me through his windscreen. Instead of stopping, the driver, who was very drunk, let my body crumple to the ground and drove on. He crashed about a mile further on and was still three times over the drink drive limit four hours later. Thankfully, I was found by someone driving by. At first, the person thought I was a bag of rubbish, but stopped to check anyway. I must have pulled up my hood just before the collision, which meant I looked like a heap of old clothing. Seeing my bloodied, unconscious face prompted an immediate call to the emergency services, and very quickly afterwards, the Cornwall Air Ambulance arrived. I'm so grateful to them and everyone else who helped me. My list of injuries included a severe head gash, brain bleeding, a punctured lung, multiple fractures in my back, ribs and foot. Getting me to Derriford Hospital in Plymouth as quickly as possible was vital and the work of the ambulance team both on scene and in the air was critical. I wish I could say I remembered even a little of my flight, but I wasn't aware of anything until four days later. I do know, though, that the paramedics and crew probably saved my life. They were amazing, and I can't thank them enough. Cornwall Air Ambulance is there for everyone. I simply turned a corner and ended up on the bonnet of a car through no fault of my own. Things happen, but with the air ambulance on standby, our chances of survival are so much better. Public donations are essential to keep the ambulance flying, so please, if you can, support them this Christmas. Their help last Christmas enabled me to share mine with my mother, who has since died, and I'm very, very grateful for that. Cornwall M Air Ambulance was there for me. Let's make sure they continue to be there for many, many others too. It really is incredible to hear the difference the Cornwall Air Ambulance has made to Sue. A very powerful reminder of why we are raising money for the charity this evening. And it's thanks to your donations that the critical care team help people like Sue in their greatest moment of need. Many of you have very kindly donated the ticket price this evening to the charity and those donations will be doubled thanks to match fundraisers. And thank you to Sue as well. And it is wonderful to see Sue doing so well. 
Next up, it's Nankersey Male Voice Choir, which was founded in January 1950 and is based in Flushing. And Nankersey, and I didn't know this, but this is really interesting, Nankersey is actually the Cornish name for Flushing. The choir celebrated their 70th anniversary back in 2020, and they proudly still have one of the choir's founder members, David Leighty. The choir's musical director is Cornish bard Elaine Tangi, and the choir recorded their rendition of O oh Holy Night remotely for us this evening. And look out for Karen Hearn and listen out for Karen, a member of the Cornwall Air Ambulance team who's been so crucial to putting this evening together. Karen is singing along now with Nan Kersey, Male Voice Choir.
Right, it's time for another sing-along now and time to welcome back St Dennis Band, this time performing O Come All Ye Faithful. I'm delighted to welcome to the stage now Cornwall Air Ambulance Ambassador Dr Karen Dickens. And Karen is going to give us a Christmas reading and is a passionate advocate for the Cornwall Air Ambulance and it's thanks to her support that we're enjoying this concert this evening as well as supporting the whole Christmas appeal. Here's Karen. Christmas is such a special time made even more wonderful through the joy of giving. I'm delighted to be with you here and able to share one of my favourite Christmas poems, Christmas is Forgiving, by Iris Bray. Christmas is forgiving and for showing that we care, for honouring the Christ child with the loving gifts that we share. Wise men gave of riches, the shepherds, faith and love. Each gift in its own measure was smiled on from above. Let every gift be treasured. Not always size or price determines the extent of love 
and willing sacrifice. Handsome gifts with festive trim bring smiles of sweet content, but modest gifts of humble means are oft times heaven sent. Whether it be large or small, each gift will share in part the message of true Christmas joy if given from the heart. Please join us in saving lives this Christmas. Have a blessed and very happy Christmas. Thank you very much to Karen for all of her support. And it's time for some more music now and let's welcome back Hit and Miss. Oh beautiful star of Bethlehem Shining far through shadows dim Giving a light for those who long have gone Guiding the wise men on their way Unto the place where Jesus lay Oh beautiful star of Bethlehem Shine on Oh beautiful star Upon us until the glory dawns. Give us a lamp to light the way unto the land of perfect day. O beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on. O beautiful star of hope and light, guiding the pilgrims through the night over the mountains till the break of dawn. Give us a lamp to guide the way Unto the land of perfect day O beautiful star of Bethlehem Shine on, shine on O beautiful star, beautiful, beautiful star of Bethlehem star of Bethlehem Shine upon us until the glory dawns Give us a lamp to light the way Unto the land of perfect day Beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on. Oh, beautiful star of hope and grace, for the Redeemer good and blessed, yonder in glory when a crowd is won. Jesus says, now the star divine, brighter and brighter he will shine. Oh, beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on. Beautiful star, beautiful star of Bethlehem, star of Bethlehem, shine upon us until the glory dawns. Give us a lamp to light the way unto the land of perfect day. Oh, beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on. Oh, beautiful star, beautiful, beautiful star of Bethlehem. Star of Shine upon us until the glory dawns. Give us a lamp to light the way unto the land of perfect day. O beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on. Storm. 
But if you really hold me tight All the way home I'll be warm Oh, the fire is slowly dying And my dear, we're still goodbye But as long as you love me so Let it snow, let it snow Stood on Cape Cornwall in the sun's evening glow on Chill Hill at Newlyn to watch a fishing fleet go. Watch the sheep wheels at Giver as they spun around and heard the men singing as they go underground. Until the Lord calls me to sit at his hand For this is my Eden and I'm not alone For this is my Cornwall and this is my home I've left childish footsteps in the soft sand and sand I've chased the maids there, all giggly and tan. I stood on the cliff top in a westerly blow and heard the waves thunder on the rocks far below. And no one will ever move me from this land. Until the Lord calls me to sit at his hand For this is my Eden and I'm not alone For this is my Cornwall and this is my home First thing in the morning on Chapel Cumbray I gaze at the ceilings in the blue far away For this is my Cornwall and I'll tell you why Because I was born here and here I shall die And no one will ever move me from this land until the Lord calls me to sit at his hand For this is my Eden and I'm not alone For this is my Cornwall and this is my home For this is my Colonel and this is my Now, I think we can all agree that we are very lucky to live in Cornwall. This really is a very special part of the world. And I know it's a source of great pride for all of us in Cornwall that the first air ambulance service of its kind started right here in the county in 1987. That was the year that I started my broadcasting career in Cornwall as well. So I have followed the progress of the Cornwall Air Ambulance right the way through my time at BBC Radio Cornwall and later at BBC Spotlight. And during that time, the service has grown immensely and we've followed that very carefully on the BBC and, and I know lots of people across Cornwall have followed that development with great interest and great fondness as well. And the critical care team at Cornwall Air Ambulance are the most highly skilled and qualified paramedics in the county. Their skills and expertise, along with the life-saving equipment that they carry, 
ensures patients receive the best possible pre-hospital care, which we know can be the difference between life and death. Let's hear now from the crew of the Cornwall Air Ambulance. Um, my name's Steve. I'm one of the second longest serving paramedics here at Cornwall Air Base. Good timing. So back in the day when we were based over there at the military side at RIF St Morgan, our base unit was just a tiny porter cabin with some very limited facilities. There was a duty crew of two paramedics and a pilot in a very tight working space. Life was very cramped, we didn't have any great clinical stores or facilities. The charity were based 20 miles away. And in order for those guys to be able to visit and see what we were doing, that would involve a drive to the base and then potentially they would get there and watch us just leave on a mission. Now at this great facility here at Trevithick Downs, the charity and the operations team have all joined together as one. So we're one big happy family now. The charity staff, the operations team, all the volunteers and everyone that helps deliver this service all together. So there's a lot more effective team working. It's been great for PR events and fundraising. We're also able to show our service to all of our fantastic supporters that keep the service running, which helps showcase the great work we do here at Cornwall Air Ambulance. In the time frame here, it's now grown from just a crew of six paramedics and two pilots to an operations team of 10 critical care paramedics, four doctors and four pilots, which enables us to deliver a critical care service of 19 hours a day from seven in the morning till two at night. In the last 30 years, the development of Cornwall Air Ambulance Trust has seen uh, progression from part-time paramedics to full-time paramedics to qualification as critical care paramedics. Um, the operations moved from a day-only basis to a day-night basis and we now carry out around 19 hours of available flying shifts every day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. A critical care paramedic is a natural progression role from that of a paramedic. Uh, it means you become a specialist in certain areas. Uh, this includes drug administration, such as ketamine, for sedation of patients suffering trauma. Um, it includes being able to do surgical skills, such as those suffering from an obstructed airway. And we carry a range of additional drugs, including blood products and advanced drugs for resuscitation. Carrying blood products has been a huge development for the air ambulance and for the people of Cornwall. Particularly with such long transfer times to hospital, the, the option to be able to give uh, a pre-hospital blood transfusion can often be the difference between life and death. So we go to a large number of cardiac arrests in the community in which a patient's heart has stopped beating and they've stopped breathing. We carry a Lucas automated chest compression device which allows us to provide effective chest compressions via the machine which won't tire and it also enables another member of the team to be able to provide other treatments to the patient. Being a specialist paramedic led unit means that we operate on a daily basis as a double crew critical care team. Uh, this means that both members of the team are specialist paramedics in critical care. This is unusual to some units which are doctor led, which have physicians flying on a daily basis. So Cornwall is one of the first to be a non-physician led unit. Another bit of kit we carry is the Hamilton T1 ventilator which is intensive care level ventilator equipment and another bit of kit is uh, EPOC so electronic point of care blood gas tester machine. It gives us a real good snapshot into the physiology and the pathophysiology of the patients that we're going to so we can understand what's going wrong in order to try and correct it. When people join the unit from a paramedic role, they begin as trainee uh, specialist paramedics in critical care. Uh, they undergo quite an extensive and expensive process through university of the critical care development pathway. And this is obviously solely funded by the charity and the people of Cornwall on the Isles of Scilly.
Well, wonderful did they sound, absolutely brilliant. That's the children of St Mewen School who have been practising for weeks and we are delighted that they are part of our evening. The Cornwall Air Ambulance is supported by the entire community as we've seen this evening, from school children to groups and organisations, businesses and individuals. Everyone doing their bit to keep the helicopter flying for more than 30 years now. The crew, of course, are very dedicated to saving lives, but they can only do that with your help and your support. It really is a big team effort. And if you're enjoying the concert this evening, which I'm sure you are, and you would like to donate, you can find the link in the comments section. Well, it's time now to welcome back St Dennis Band, this time performing for us the First Noel.
Well, it's been a fantastic evening so far. I hope you are enjoying it as much as we are. Cornwall is home to some fantastic musicians and players, and we're delighted that they have given us their time this evening. Now on to another pre-recorded piece of music, this time from the Traviglas Academy Steelers and Junior Steelers. Now they performed last year for the virtual concert for the Cornwall Air Ambulance and I know they were really popular and really went down well. So we've invited them back again this year. And the piece they're performing for us tonight, Together in Electric Dreams, you may just recognise from a very well-known TV Christmas advert.
I'd like now to welcome the Bishop of Truro, the Right Reverend Philip Mount Stephen, to give the Christmas blessing. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Mary and Joseph, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas tide. And so may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest upon you and remain with you this Christmas and forevermore. Amen.
That was while shepherds watched by St. Dennis Band, who have been magnificent this evening, filling this beautiful Truro Methodist Church with wonderful sound. Thank you very much to them. That's just about it from me. It's time for me to bid farewell. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I hope you have a happy Christmas and a safe and lovely new year for 2022. But I will leave the final word tonight to the Chief Executive of the Cornwall Air Ambulance, Tim Bunting. From me, goodbye. Thank you, Justin, and huge thanks for hosting us this evening. Thank you also to St Dennis Band, Hit and Miss and all the other performers, Dr Karen Dickens, Truro Methodist Church Council and the Cornwall Channel team. And to all of you watching at home, thank you for joining us. If you enjoyed this evening, please do donate. And remember, it will be doubled up until the 15th of December. To play us out, St Dennis Band, and on behalf of everyone at Cornwall Air Ambulance, a very happy Christmas and a happy, healthy New Year. <laughs>